In this tutorial, I wanted to talk about environments and the environment controls in PhotoView 360. So here I have my uh, game controller model open. Um, one quick note is that I have this window almost maximized on my desktop, and um, ray tracing rendering is all about the number of pixels you're outputting. So at 1280 by 1024, it's actually quite a few pixels. So I'm going to get more interactive performance if uh, if I had to shrink this down. So that's what I'm going to do um, to start with. So to work with environments, I'll pop open my environment palette. I'll position it where I like it down here, slightly smaller, smaller icons. Um, our default environment in photo view is what you're looking at here. Um, it's got this sort of black reflective floor, um, and you can see some some different parts of the background. So one thing to know is that in PhotoView 360, when you rotate the model, what you're actually doing is you're orbiting a camera about the model, which means as you do that, you will see different parts of the background environment uh, become visible. The background or environment is um, an HDR image which provides the lighting and reflections for the for the model. There are no physical lights in in PhotoView 360 like like there is in SolidWorks. So all the lighting comes from these environments. And right now, currently, those environments are always visible. And they come into view as you orbit the camera around the model. So in, in a moment, I'll talk about um, how you can control that a little bit better. But as it pertains to actually just using the environments, just like, um, just like appearances, you just drag and drop um, into the graphics area. You can also uh, double click. And you'll see, um, you know, different environments give me different lighting effects, different backgrounds, different shadows. Um, so really, you can just play around, try different ones, find ones that suit your need the most. We have some that have or real-world um, backgrounds, environments. Um, this is uh, an interior kitchen. You, know, you might be able to take and position the model with the background there so it looks like it's part of that scene. Um, a lot of the other ones are more uh, sort of like photo studio type scenes, sort of abstract. Um, they basically have these, um, what you might see in a studio with uh, light cards, reflecting lights. Um, so you can just try try all these different ones. The In terms of controlling the environment a bit better, uh, if you go into the settings dialog, um, we have a few controls here. Uh, the first one is adjust ground plane. So the ground plane comes into PhotoView 360 much like it would be set up in SolidWorks. That is, the floor uh, is going to be positioned based on the bounding box of the model. So if it happens to come in and it's not quite where you would like it to be, you can change the offset by simply popping this dialog open, moving the slider left and right by clicking on these two arrows. Just to show that again, you've got these little two these two arrows in the pop-up. You click on those and then drag left. I'll be decreasing the value, drag right, and I'm bringing the floor up. And here you can see I've actually cut the floor uh, into the model. So you've got a weird effect here with the shadow. Uh, so neat trick to know is if you really just don't want any shadow, um, one thing you can just simply do is just move this way down. It's essentially, whoops, didn't quite get it there. Yep, there you go. So it's out of view, it's no shadow underneath the underneath the object. You can also just type in here, I think the default was minus 15.1, that'll put the floor back to where it was. The next control is the rotate environment key. So. Um, uh, I was mentioning how you have different parts of the environment come into view as you orbit the camera around, uh, or as you orbit, yeah, as you orbit the camera around the model. So let's say you really had to frame your shot like this. This is the view that you wanted, but you don't want this um, bright area behind it. But otherwise, you do like the overall composition of the of the background and lighting with this scene. So rotate environment lets you. Uh, keep the model orientation or your view of the model in terms of the camera in its 
orbited position about the model the same while just moving the environment around. I'll actually go back the other way here and you can see the uh, environment is sort of moving around the object while the object stays in the same position and now I can get that bright spot out of the way. The last control here is Gamma. Uh, gamma is actually a uh, tool that is used to adjust how colors are interpreted on your screen but for our purposes um, you could loosely interpret it as a way to just quickly adjust the brightness of uh, your rendering so decreasing it will make things darker and increasing it will uh, make things brighter.